What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and it's another surprise type deal. It's a battle box. So it's gonna be survival type gear and this one's a little bit different because it says special zombie edition on it. Before I jump inside this box, I wanna give a shout out. A shout out to a special event, a live event that's happening in Los Angeles on February the 6th. Jack, is that right? February the 6th. It's called Team Crispy Live. Anyway, you got myself, you got MKBHD, you got John from TLD, you got Austin Evans, and you got Judner from Your Average Consumer. We're gonna be on stage. I don't know what we're doing. I really don't, but we're gonna be there, and you're gonna be there. We're gonna shake hands. We're gonna try to entertain you. Will that happen? I can't make any guarantees. I say you just come down and say what's up. I'll put a link in the description so you can buy a ticket to like six bucks or something. If you're interested, click the link, come check it out and come say what's up or hello or how you doing or how's she going or... But this is an unboxing video because you are watching Unbox Therapy. So, let's do the damn thing. And as usual, we are greeted with the dry grass fire starter. When you're talking about survival, you're talking about fire. Huge component. The best thing about unboxing these boxes is it's like so many things. Ooh, more niv, more knife without the E. Probably because it has something to do with Sweden. This is made in Sweden by appointment to HM, the King of Sweden. This message approved by the King of Sweden. This video is sponsored, Jack, put it in here somewhere. Sponsored by King of Sweden. I'll bill you later, Swedish King. <laughs> Blade of high carbon steel with an anti-corrosive black coating, robust sheath, and a fire starter. Broccoli with a side of coriander and finished with cayenne pepper. Whoa. Carbon steel made in Sweden. Can you see that, Jack? Whew. I gotta say, I think the, uh, the, the king of Sweden, he's not messing around. Goes in there like that. This is the, the fire steel. Kind of clips in there and comes out. What do you say? Should we, should we create a couple sparks? Oh! Do-it-yourself zombie bracelet kit? Is this Walking Dead approved right here? This is obviously for putting the bracelet on. Oh, wow. Right inside there, that looks like another little fire steel. So they say there's 12 feet of paracord in here. You can use this for everything. What do we have here? It's another blade. This, again, we've got the paracord. You can see the skull on there. Oh, this is just a patch, Velcro patch. So you can, <laughs> that's gonna live there for the rest of the video. Zombie outbreak response team, okay. I'm like a legit, I'm a general right now. Zombie apocalypse kit inside a sardine can. Compass, whistle, matches, first aid, razor blade pencil, non-aspirin pain reliever. Not sure why it's important that it's non-aspirin. Reflective signal surface, fish hook, fishing line, duct tape, no paper, sugar, salt, gum, reclosable bag, antibiotic ointment, tea, safety pin, and alcohol prep pad. Seems really light for all that stuff. A hundred foot, seven strand core, paracord. That's just a huge hunk of paracord. Zombie survival can. In case of a zombie apocalypse, drink entire contents to ensure speedy escape. Then fill the can with rocks and throw the can at a zombie. We're having a little fun with this one. This is obviously a energy drink of some kind. If I do it, you have to do it. Here we go. Not bad. Little sip. Ooh. Holy, it's got some weight to it. Yeah, all right. That's the real deal. 
a sheath, I believe. Jack, catch. Is this a poster? A little zombie head of some kind. It's a pretty, uh, pretty fellow right there. Zombie tinder, waterproof, all weather fire, never expires. Can be lit with a spark. Okay, looks kind of weird too. Looks like zombie guts. Look at that. Should we try and light some of this? Jack, we're gonna. This is gonna catch up to us one day. You know that, right? Here we go. Whoa! Jeez, I didn't even get to the wick. That stuff really lights up, hey? Okay, we got the wick going now. So, you know, rather than sitting down there trying to maintain a flame as you like put other stuff on top of this. I think I'm done now for the day. All right, there you have it. Another survival box edition of Unbox Therapy. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, thanks very much for watching. I need to be careful. This is sharp as hell, Jack. Appreciate your viewership. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and I'll catch you on the next step. What am I, look, I'm like, I'll catch you on the next episode. It's because the hands are involved. When the hands are involved and there's an ax in play, well, that could make for a bad day. Did that, you see what I did? Later.